What's up, family? It's your boy, Chris Sims, and this is Conversations with Chris. And today, we have none other than singer, songwriter, producer, educator, and now entrepreneur, <laughs> Mr. Christian Rose. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. What's going on, man? How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. God is good. Um, grateful to be alive. Excited about this new venture. So, yeah, things are good. Awesome, man. Awesome. So we're going to jump right into this because, <laughs> you know, you and I, we've known each other for, for quite some time. A little bit of time, you know. Correct. <laughs> you, you know, all of my life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of your life. And the vast majority of mine. <laughs> yeah. So those who don't know, Mr. Christian Rose is actually my blood cousin. We like nice. brothers. <laughs> so, so uh, and some of you may have seen me promote Christian's content before, and and some of uh, and some of his other ventures. And so he has a new venture that he, uh, he's uh, embarking on, and I I'm really excited to let everybody know about that about what's going on with that. And it's called Faith, Math, and Music. So he's combined all of his many skills <laughs> into this one venture. And I, I'm really excited to let him tell you more about it. So tell us, Christian, what is Faith, Math, and Music? Well, Faith, Math, Music is an online faith-based math, faith math enrichment program that incorporates music and cartoons um, into the uh, learning experience. Um, uh, we, me, me and my wife were um, just kind of brainstorming, um, you know, uh, what, what, what we could call it um, originally, because at, there was a time in my life where, um, you know, I discovered like my work centered around three M's, ministry, music, and math. Mm. And um, we were going to call it uh, ministry math music. Mm. Um, but uh, my wife came up with the idea to call it faith instead of uh, ministry, because then you have FM music. And so, mm. um, right. So um, most people hear it as faith math music, but um, that's why our logo is like a little radio. Um, and then out of the radio, you see musical notes and math symbols, uh, FM music or faith math music that's that's what it is that's dude <laughs> so how did you guys come up with this idea yeah well so that's interesting i um i was um in the kitchen one day and uh this was right after i had done uh that fred hammond um i had done a series of videos just giving props to fred hammond um for the project um spirit of david uh, which really was inspiring me. So I made like four uh, remixes. And, um, and I don't know, I was just thinking about what next to do. Uh, I remember being in the kitchen and this math song just came to me. Um, actually haven't written it. I mean, haven't um, released a music video for this one yet. Um, but it was an idea to do Counting by Twos using the story of Noah, oh. right? So the lyrics are like, uh, Noah had an ark, he put animals in it. They went in two by two, you know, they, they obeyed God. That's the only way to win it. And then, you know, it just goes on and on. I'm really excited for people to hear that. But that song really got me to thinking like, man, this is a really cool way to teach kids um, math um, in a Christian environment. Mm. And so, um, and so that same day, like within the next second, like within the ne next two hours, I had two more song ideas. Wow. And the songs were coming really easy. Um, and it's just like, wow, it just kind of was like a eureka moment. Jackie had already made some like children's songs for the girls just playing around in the house. Um, as you know, I was teaching at Capital Prep this year. And um, I made a music video uh, for math, uh, multiplication. And, and then, uh, then uh, my daughter had a Bible counting song a couple years ago. And then, in that moment, it just all made sense. 
-hmm. And what we had found was we had an idea that really uses all the gifts and abilities of the four of us here in the house, my two daughters, my wife, and myself. We had something that we all could work in, on together as a family, and um, we wanted to we wanted to do it. And, and the more we worked on it and the more we prayed about it, we uh, just felt God really giving us the push and the go-ahead and start to give more ideas and pull pieces together. And it, it's kind of just like, you know, you, you start walking towards something, and uh, as you start to walk towards it, not really knowing um, what, you just know that maybe this is something God is trying to do. And then um, the pieces just started to come together. So um, we're excited to see what God is gonna do and where he's gonna take it. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna go really, really far. Thank so, you. <laughs> yeah. Four of you have been working on this together. How, how easy or difficult has that been? Um, actually, it is, it is a lot of work. Um, and at times we face challenges, but, but it doesn't feel like work. And it, it's like we, and, and, you know, I'm working at this thing nonstop, um, you know, just on social media platforms, yeah. uh, the creative part of it. Um, so, you know, I'm working 12, 14 hours a day, just grinding and, uh, it doesn't feel like work. Um, in the in the process, when we were actually creating this, the stuff that we had at launch, um, my wife hadn't returned back to work because of the pandemic. She was home with me for a few months. Mm. And when we started this, we knew she had about a month uh, left with us at home. She's now back at work. Okay. Um, but uh, we started working on the material. And my wife, she's she does the animation. She does a great job. Um, with that and um the girls the girls are just like really natural at it right so jackie works really hard at the cartoon part but again for her it doesn't feel like work she looks forward to it she works very hard at her job sometimes she'll do a 12-hour shift and she's like ready to work on this stuff when she gets home wow. um, the girls um the girls are just naturals um that we have already on tap three more episodes of their show, Chrissy and Abby. We just haven't put it out yet. And um, recording the show, um, you know, the, the episodes are roughly five minutes long. And it takes them maybe 20 minutes. Um, the girls is really good at it. They're really natural. Wow. And, um, and they enjoy doing it. They look forward to doing it. So again, for none of us, it is a lot of work, right. but for none of us does it, does it seem to feel like work. Right. Yeah. That's cool. And how old is Chrissy and Abby? Oh uh, yeah, Abby just uh, Abby just turned six on on uh, Wednesday. Okay. And Chrislyn is eight. Nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You putting them to work? <laughs> well. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No. It's it's true. I, I mean, um, you know, I I I don't like to limit children um, and what what they can do. Um, I feel like uh, we sometimes we underestimate their abilities and and um, you know what they can accomplish. Now I, I'm not an advocate of like forcing kids to do things that they don't want to do, um, but when you find that God has given them a gift and they enjoy doing it, uh, in that case, I think the earlier you get them started, the better, because you you know you want them to develop that. You don't want to suppress you know what what God has given them, and so. So long as they feel like it's fun and they want to do it, we'll do it. The moment they say, Daddy, like, I don't really want to do this, then we'll stop. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that is really awesome. So you, you, are, you are an educator. You, as you mentioned, you yeah. uh, worked with uh, Capital Prep. Yeah. And so what is your educational background that led up to uh, working there? Yeah. Um, so... I um I went to college, uh, went to undergraduate school for um, economics, and um, with a specialization in business management. Uh, my uh, my my I minored in African American studies, um, and as you know, I spent most of my adult life as a musician, um, and so that degree really didn't um, apply much to what I have been doing for the last fifteen twenty years, mm. um, but. Um, 
I was looking for like a, a steady part time something. And a job had opened up in an after school in the Bronx, New York. And I, uh, you know, applied for it and got the job as a, a activity specialist, really just teaching kids uh, music production and songwriting. I did that for two years uh, with middle school students and it was fantastic. It was a phenomenal experience. And during that time being there, I was just praying and talking to the Lord and I felt like God was saying, I need you in the classroom. And I was like, oh, okay. And, you know, it, it definitely felt like what he meant was not just that after school, but during school hours. Mm-hmm. So I went on, um, you know, line just looking. I'm like, because I didn't go to school for um, education. Um, is that even possible? And so I stumbled upon a program called Teach for America. Um, we went through intensive training um, to become a teacher. And then that's um, how... I got into teaching. Um, you just re- you required to have a certain level of GPA, um, you know, relatively high GPA, and um, and a college degree. Um, and they work with you and training you to get you started. And during the whole time you were teaching, you're still taking graduate courses and and so on. So that's that's in a nutshell. Um, yeah, that's that's the education. I received leading up to teaching. That's awesome. What is your what is your hope or your ultimate goal with uh, with this program that you created? Yeah, um, great question. Um, in uh, the book of Daniel, uh, we see Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and we see Daniel. Um, they are in Babylon um, at a very early age. They are, you know, asked to. Uh, participate in things um, that go against their faith and they they refuse uh, the first case is they are asked to eat certain foods in the Jewish diet there's certain things that are you know abominable and forbidden and they took a stand while other people were partaking in it they said no we, we can't we can't eat that and um, and um, and so in taking that stand um, God sustained them, um, God prospered them to the point where the Bible said that they were 10 times better than the, the, um, the king's advisors um, that were not um, of, of the Jewish background. So they were 10 times better. The Bible goes on to say about Daniel that he had an excellent spirit. And so that's what we want. Um, Daniel was serving his whole life or his whole adult life in a secular position, right? He was serving under King Nebuchadnezzar and two other kings as well, Uh, Nebuchadnezzar's son, King, I think it's uh, Darius. And while he served uh, under them, he maintained his faith and he maintained his commitment to God. And God brought brought him through many um, situations and caused him to do his job excellently. And so what we want is we want kids at a young age, just like in that Bible story, um, um, growing up in an academic environment where God is first and they put God first and they really lean into their faith instead of, um, you know, trying to uh, separate the two worlds. But they use, but they look at their faith as a source actually to to help them in, in every situation. And we believe when they do that, that we'll be able to say about them that they were 10 times better than their peers at whatever career path they choose. Um, We believe that's a promise from the Bible and Psalms 1, it says, if we meditate on his word day and night, that we'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Goes on to say, we'll bear fruit in its season and whatsoever we do will prosper. We believe that. Uh, Jesus says, if we abide in him and his words abide in us, we will bear fruit, right? We will bear fruit. And so we believe that. So with Faith Math Music, what we're trying to do, create an environment for our children to learn and and come up in a culture where academics does not have to be separated uh, from their faith and that we can have more representation in STEM fields um, when they grow up. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. Um, how important do you think this is uh, right now 
especially in the season that we're in with COVID-19 and mm -hmm. parents really stepping up and kind of being the educators right, right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me, myself included, you know, having four of my own. Yeah. Knowing what it's like and the headaches. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. How important. Uh, I just got through yelling at my kids <laughs> about their math. And I was just sitting there like, man, I can't wait to sign them up. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they need to get signed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, no, I, I do. I do think it's very, very important. Um, you know, we, we're doing the best that we can as parents to give our kids the, the you know, the information, the resources and access um, they need to succeed and to understand because we know academics is something that has been key to, uh, you know, research shows. And if you have a college degree, you fare way better um, economically um, in life. And so we want to put them on a path to um, to have every opportunity. If if they want that, you know, we want it, we don't want to take that option off the table. So we want to give them as much as we can. But parents are not teachers. Um, and, you know, they do their best, but some, some parents are just, they just don't have it in them to, to teach uh, their kids certain concepts. And you can understand the concept, but it's, it's something else to try to communicate that to your, your children. Um, and so um, with, uh, you know, COVID and a lot of parents not feeling comfortable sending their kids into school buildings, um, the online platform has really provided an opportunity for a shift uh, in the way we see education and and access um, to you know like resources to educate your kids um, before this um, you know you you basically send your kid to the, the the closest school in the neighborhood for convenience whether or not that school is good or bad you know it's it's what's what you're stuck with um, and, uh, you know, many of us want to put our kids in a private school, but we just, we just don't have the money to do that. Um, it, it, it's really expensive. Um, what we're offering is not a replacement for your child's um, public school education, but it is, um, it is like extra help, extra work to fill in gaps um, that might exist because, frankly, you know, our kids are going to or participating in a system that doesn't necessarily teach them everything they should know um, in that grade. I, I released a video just last night talking about this. Um, the fact is, um, when your kid goes to school, they're going, especially if you you know go to low income communities, they're going and they're participating in a class of maybe 30 kids. Um, the vast majority of those kids are not on grade level and they they pretty much set the pace for the class so if the class is not ready to move on um you know your kid might be doing well um so to speak um on the material that's been presented to them but the material that's being presented can be you know certain a certain amount of levels behind um where they're supposed to be and so our program is designed to make sure that um, kids are being exposed to those things that they should know at their grade level. Um, there's certain basic fundamental things that I saw my fifth and sixth graders um, that, that they didn't know um, that made it impossible to really move on. Um, for example, like if you wanna learn how to do long division, you have to know how to multiply, right? So if you have a three digit number, I don't know, let's say it's 560, and you need to divide that by eight. Well, you need to know that eight times seven is 56. So eight goes into 56 seven times. But if you don't know your timetables, you can't divide. You, you can't do that problem. You're stuck right at the beginning. You're like, and so I was in a situation where it would be things like that, where the kids just don't know their timetables. And these are things they were supposed to learn between you know kindergarten and third grade. And that's why we're, we're teaching that specific um, group. There are really important concepts at the fundamental level that kids need to know in order to move on to like algebra and all these other things that they're gonna to need to be successful. And so we wanna make sure we cover those things and make sure kids have those things down um, before they move on. And um, 
I hope I answered your question. Um, you did. Yeah. You did. So what's next for faith, math, music, Christian rules? Yeah. Uh, well, we, we want to start our program on September uh, 14th. Okay. Um, so we're looking to enroll kids in the program. Um, we, um, we are going to continue to release um, free content because the, the program is not free. It is um, $20 a week or $80 a month um, per device. So if you have multiple children um, in, in, in the household that want to participate, it's just $20 for the household um, every, every week. Um, so it's about $80 a month, which, you know, when, you, when you're used to paying $15, $20 for like Netflix for the whole month, it might seem like a lot. But when you compare that cost to other enrichment programs is actually very uh, reasonable. Um, and when you, when you think about the long-term benefit of your kid having a really solid foundation um, in mathematics and also in their Christian faith, um, we think that the investment is worthwhile. Amen. Yeah. Oh, but, but, uh, but to further answer your question, um, we are also continuing to, to post free content on YouTube consistently. There's going to be videos uploaded every week um, covering all these different aspects of, um, you know, uh, math um, that, that would be appropriate for a kid uh, kindergarten to third grade. So if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're going to get all of that free, you know. Um, so we're continuing to work on that stuff we are not stopping. Like I said, we have, we have content ready to go um, that we haven't released yet hmm. that you'll see pretty soon. Nice. And what is, what does that format look like when, um, when you sign up uh, for the program? What is that, what is it going to look like? Yeah. So it, it's a zoom call um, every day. Um, there's going to be for, for kindergarten, the first grade, that's going to take place from uh, three to four really a 45 minute class, but we're given that 15 minute grace for kids to, to enter the class, to enter the Zoom call. And then uh, four to five for a group uh, for the second and third graders. And um, at the beginning of every call, we will pray with the kids and over the kids, praying God's blessings over them. Uh, we'll start off with some uh, praise and worship songs, or uh, we will have a, a math song play, you know, whatever. Um, whatever feels good for the day. Um, at the beginning of every week, we will introduce a story. Um, for instance, let's say we, um, we're talking about David. We know David is a shepherd. And so we'll tell the story about David and how he was chosen as king and they had to go look for him in the field. Um, Samuel, when he was going to look for the king, he was looking at the way the brothers looked and he was like, well, this person should be the king. That person should be the king because of the way they look. But God said he looked at the heart. Mm -hmm. that doesn't look like look at man so that's a, a lesson they learn about god looking at the heart but then we move on to the mat and so we use david as our main character and he has sheep right and we're counting the sheep and grouping the sheep together right and we're, we're grouping uh, that would be for learning addition and subtraction and then for multiplication we would take the same story but then use the sheep to explain how we group numbers together in equal groups. And so, so that's just, and, and so we set up the week with that story. So David and his life as a shepherd is the theme for the whole, the whole week. Then Monday, the next week, we start a new story and we incorporate numbers into the story. So that's, that's the basic gist, but you know, we're using cartoons that the story will, you know, the, the characters will move around, will be reading the story. Um, kids might even get a chance to read um, from their screens. Um, we're going to play games. Um, you know, it, it's going to be, it's going to be quite fantastic. And, you know, we, that's why we're so excited. We want everybody who, um, you know, feels like they would need this to, to know about it because um, we want as many people involved in it as possible. We really believe it's going to be a blessing. Yeah. Awesome, man. I'm excited for you. This is an awesome venture. This uh, is phenomenal. I'm sure you're already getting a, a tremendous response already. Mm -hmm. 
and you got my four signed up. Yay. Just just, just know that. Glory. <laughs> and I wasn't even going to ask for a discount. Oh. <laughs> the cousin oh. discount. If you want to pay for all four of them each individually, go right ahead. <laughs> but... Well, I don't know about it. Oh, man. <laughs> No, 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 but, but you know, like, yeah, I appreciate the love and support. Yeah. And, you know, please do, uh, anybody watching this, please uh, spread the word. If you want to sponsor another kid, go ahead and do that. Um, I know that, you know, there might be some grandparents or aunties and uncles on here. If you have a nephew or grandchild that you, you know, want to get involved in something like this, please um, don't hesitate. Um, visit us at the website and uh, go ahead and sign up. Um, yeah, uh, we're really, really excited. And we, we just, um, you know, the, the response to the content and the overall vision has been great. Um, we we want to see more signups, though. So um, just want to make sure that, you know, everybody is aware of the program. And this is just another opportunity to express uh, what we're doing. And I appreciate the opportunity. Yes. And we want everybody to like and subscribe to this YouTube page. Yes. Uh, as well as social media uh, pages as well. Tell everybody where they can find you, Chris. Yes. Um, so our website is faithmathmusic.com. If you go there, you can really find the links to everything else on Instagram. We're at faith at faith math music uh, on Facebook. You know, if you search our page, it's faith math music. So everywhere is faith math music, um, YouTube. If you uh, do an insert, put in a search for faith math music, you'll find us there as well. So faith math music everywhere. That's right. You guys heard it. Faith math music. Go and search, like, subscribe, friend, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's awesome, man. I'm so happy for you. Um, so yeah, man, thank you for jumping in on this conversation with me. I thank you for having me, man. sir. Oh, yeah. man, my pleasure, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll be having some more conversations in the near future. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you have any last words for the people and you want to pray us out, that'd be great. Sure. Um, so if I, if I were to say anything to, to you guys out there, I would just say that this is a really, really uh, important time that we're living in. God is shifting a lot of things around, and I believe that this program is a part of that shift. Um, we have been um, stuck in a certain way of doing things and looking at things. What God has provided is an opportunity to reassess how we do uh, life, uh, including how we educate our children. So we want you to be a part of the family, faithmathmusic.com. Come check us out, gather more information. I believe this is an opportunity to change or, or send your kids in a, in a whole nother trajectory. I believe God is doing something. This is an opportunity uh, for us to move forward in a very, very powerful direction. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for who you are. God, you're an excellent, excellent God. There's no one like you. God, you give wisdom to man. You give creativity. God, I thank you, God, for this program that you've given me at, and my wife and my children um, to share with the world. We just want to be a blessing, God, to your people. We're praying, God, that you would do whatever it is you want to do with this program, that whoever needs this program, God, would have access to it. Father, I pray, God, for Christopher. I thank you, God, that he's allowed me to come on uh, this program and to share the vision that I believe you've given to me. I pray for that, God, you would bless him and you bless him many times over. God, we pray, God, that everything that he's doing, God, on this radio program, God would just uh, reach the masses and be a blessing and enhance their relationship with you. God, we thank you, God, that you do these things and you do them so well. We love you. We give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So Amen. you guys heard it. Yeah. Faith, math, mu faith, math, music. Yeah. He go, go and support. Listen, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Conversations with Chris. Stay blessed. No stress. All right. We out. Yeah. <laughs>